Hey everybody, it's Ellie and today I wanted to do another makeup video. It's been so long. I've had so many planned but just haven't had the time to do it. But Christmas is fast approaching and I at least wanted to get one look out there. That would be nice for the holiday season. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of the typical red and greens bada bing bada boom situation um so i decided to do something a little different um that still sparkles a little bit um you might even be able to use this for new years um it's just a black smoky eye and it has a little bit of black glitter um with a little hint of purple and a little hint of green uh just so it does feel a little bit more festive without being christmas um so if you want to see how i did it stick around okay i'm going in with elf's eyelid primer and i'm applying it all over my eyelid and then blending it out with my finger next i'm going to take my handy dandy jumbo eye crayon or eye pencil from nyx in the color milk apply that all over the eyelid and blend out and of course towards the brow the first color I'm applying will be from my Dark Rose Palette from BH Cosmetics and it's a shimmery cream color. I'm going to highlight my brow. Next, taking a big blending brush, I'm going to go in into a flesh colored um, eyeshadow and just apply it in my crease as my transition color. Back into the Dark Rose Palette, I'm taking this chocolate brown in another blending brush and applying it in my crease to carve it out blending upwards towards the brow, the brow. Matte black shadow, just go ahead and pack it onto your lid, slightly blending upwards. I apologize for my palette, but I use it every day and I wish I could keep it cleaner, but the Lord knows it's just, it's not gonna happen. Back into that dark rose palette, I'm taking this shimmery dark purple and applying it on the inner corner of the lid, blending it inwards and up. Back with my jumbo pencil in milk, jumbo pencil in milk. I just applied it to my waterline before I went on and finished my face. Okay, next I'm priming my face. My primer is from Sephora. I'll put the name below because I feel like if I say it, it's just going to be a big old tongue twister and we don't need that right now. Next, going in with my foundation. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's their high definition um, liquid foundation. And I'm applying that all over my face with my Real Techniques brush. I make all these crazy faces because the light makes it look so ghostly. I look like it's like three shades too light for me when it's actually my color. color. Next, I'm going in with Medium Olive. Um, it's another foundation from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to use that to highlight under my eyes. I'm just taking a large concealer brush and applying a triangle under both eyes. Now, I'm going to contour my cheeks with this black opal foundation stick. The color wiped off, but when I find it, I will put it in the description bar below. Then, with a beauty blender, I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines and blend it upwards. The lighting is really harsh, so I apologize. Um, it's making the contour look extra sharp when it really wasn't, but I'm going to go back and fix that a little later. Next, I'm taking another beauty blender, a dry one, with um, my setting powder, and this one is from Sheer Cover. Um, funny story, this product has been sitting in my beauty drawer for like the longest, and I've never used it. But since I've actually started highlighting, I learned how to use it. I'll put the color and everything down low in the uh, bar below, the box below. <laughs> Then I'm just going into a dark um, powder foundation to set my contour. Then going in with my actual color foundation and blending everything together and evening out my skin tone.
and taking my highlighter from Forever 21 that I believe is discontinued because I cannot find it anywhere. Um, and as you see, I'm just glowing. My favorite blush that I'm applying is from Jordana and it's in the color Bronze and it looks great on all skin tones. It was a little sharp so I just decided to go ahead and blend it out a little bit more with my foundation. Going back into my dark rose palette, I just took the shimmery um, kind of emerald olive green color and I applied it to uh, my waterline where I put the white pencil. And then I'm also just going to apply that same green under my lash line and blend it downwards. Now the final touch for the eye is the black glitter. It got this in a Halloween palette. Well, my friend got this in a Halloween palette and I stole it from her. Um, and I'm just taking a little bit of Elf's, uh, I believe it's called glitter glue. Um, I have a couple of different mediums to apply glitter and I'm just applying it on a flat, a thin flat shader brush and picking up glitter little by little and just packing it on. The lipstick color I'm wearing is by Jordana, once again, the name fell off, well not fell off, it rubbed off because I use it so often, but you know, I'm going to leave all that information for you guys in the bar below, I'm still getting the hang of this voiceover thing, but that's it. Wow, this is really dramatic for me, this is really dramatic, I guess it would be really nice if you're going to a Christmas party. Um, or this could be really nice for New Year's if you're going out with somebody that you love, you know, a date, like, or if you just want to get dressed up for the hell of it, you know? That's what I'm looking for.